Welcome everyone to my channel that is Fast and Easy Maths, which is dedicated specifically to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students, if you're new to my video, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I push up a new video. Another thing, don't forget to share these videos to your friends whom you think these might be very, very helpful. So now students, in my previous video, we had spoken about addition and subtraction of fractions. And in today's video, we are discussing how to multiply and divide the fractions. So let's start with multiplication. This is actually the simplest operation of all four operations that is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Because in multiplication, you can directly multiply the numerator and the denominators. Okay, so let's take for example, when you're multiplying 1 upon 2, into 3 by 7 so basically here you are multiplying the numerators so your final answer will have 1 into 3 upon 2 into 7 that is nothing but 1 into 3 is nothing but 3 upon 2 into 7 is 14 okay students but let's say if you are multiplying 1 by 6 into 3 by 2 okay so here we can directly multiply again so my numerator is 1 into 3 and 6 into 2 that becomes 3 upon 12 which gets further reduced because 12 comes in 3 stable 3 ones are and 3 fours are so my final answer is 1 upon 4 students this could have been done over here itself i can show you so basically how will we do that is 1 upon 6 into 3 upon 2 so here the numerator any of the numerator can cancel any of the denominator but this rule is only applicable for multiplication okay but it's not applicable for addition or subtraction. It is completely wrong when you do that for addition or subtraction. So please always remember this. Only in case of multiplication, you can cancel out the numerators with the denominator. So we have 3 1s are and 3 2s are. So basically, now my numerator is nothing but 1 into 1 upon 2 into 2, which is nothing but 1 upon 4. Now let's take another example. Let's see if I have 13 upon 49 into 7 upon 26 into 8 by okay so basically over here what you could have done is directly multiply all of them and then multiply the denominators and then simply strike out but that will be a bigger one because 13 into 7 into 8 upon 49 into 26 into 2 that itself is too much to handle so best would be to cancel out over here itself so we get 13 ones are and 13 twos are two ones are and two fours are and seven ones are and seven sevens are so now my fraction reduces directly you don't have to do this step at all you can actually skip this step so now my fraction reduces to 1 into 1 into 4 1 into 1 into 4 
upon 7 into 2 into 1. So 7 into 2 into 1. Now, let's look at division of fractions. The only step you have to do is convert division into multiplication. I'm sure you must be wondering how can we convert division into multiplication. But students, I'm sure after learning the tricks of multiplication, you've realized that multiplying fractions is much easier than addition and subtraction. So just using this one single trick of conversion, you can simply go back to multiplication of fractions. I'll teach you how. So basically, if you have 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 4. So your first step would be just writing the first fraction as it is. Okay. And this sign, as we are trying to convert, we are going to change it to multiplication sign. And when you're converting, you will take the reciprocal, which means the denominator becomes the numerator and the numerator becomes the denominator. Okay. So this changes to 4 by 3. So this, then again, two ones are and two twos are. So you get two into one and one into three as your final answer. You get two upon three as the answer of one by two divided by three by four. Okay, let's look at another example. Five by six divided by ten by 48. So this again, we will change, we write the first fraction as it is and then we will change the division sign to multiplication sign and then the reciprocal of this fraction which is nothing but 48 upon 10. So 6 1s are 6, 8s are 5 1s are 5 2s are 2 1s are and 2 fours are so your final answer is nothing but 4 upon 1 and any number when divided by now 1 will let you just that number itself okay now let's say you have 14 upon 7 divided by 63 upon 9 so here we'll write the first fraction as it is into 9 upon 60 3. Now, as we know, 7 ones are and 7 twos are and 9 ones are and 9 sevens are. So, final answer is nothing but 2 into 1 upon 1 into 7, which gets me just 2 by 7. So, students, I hope you've now understood that division of fraction is also very, very easy. You just have to simply use the technique of converting the second fraction as nothing but reciprocal so that once you do that this division ch sign changes itself to a multiplication sign students all this will look very very easy but if you practice these kind of at least 50 to 60 sums then i'm assuring you you will never go wrong in in division and multiplication of fractions so if you want me to give you these kind of questions along with your answers then do comment yes in the comment section below so that i can start preparing the questionnaire for these kind of topics okay so that's it for this video and i'll see you in my next video thank you and before going on don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel as well as to this video see ya